Shout out to Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the one billionth Netflix original film coming out. This is the official trailer for Dangerous Lies, or as we like to call it, somebody else's take on Night Out. Yeah. It pretty much has the same fucking plot. So, right now I'm going to tell you, Knives Out spoilers from here on in. I'm going to... From this point, now. Now. I'm going to keep my hand up and then we're done with the spoilers. You don't have to keep your hand up. Just, I already, you already told them now. You don't have to, you don't have to keep your okay. hand up. Okay. Now. So, basically... Oh, no. I'm done. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, basically, the plot is similar to kind of the plot that we find out in Knives Out, which is that... um. In that movie, we found out, you know, the head of the family dies, and uh, they figure out where the money's going to, where the will's going to, and then and later then in the film... That's when we find out that uh, he gave everything to his caregiver. His caregiver, pretty much. And then that's where things start to happen, to where everybody has a mysterious story behind them. So think that plot, that part of the plot, turned into a movie. But a more serious thriller movie. But without so, a detective. So, this is coming to us from somebody who's directed my brother's favorite films. Uh, the a bunch, of, a bunch of Hallmark Christmas movies. This is definitely up his alley. So, it stars Camila Mendez. Uh, it stars Jamie Chung. Uh, Jesse Usher. Jesse Usher. Cam Giganet. You recognize, as soon as you recognize his face, he's the one who usually plays like the... Uh, Douchebag kind of rich guy, rich boy. He did it. He's the one who did it. Uh, so Sasha Alexander from House, uh, and Elliot Gold as well. So that's yeah. a good cast to that's it. That's a good cast. And we could be wrong. We could be wrong. You know, like, so, I, like I've said before, you can copy and paste, but it's all how when you paste it, how you develop it. Does it, you know, the, the, uh, what do you change up on it to make it its own different, unique story? Yeah. But we have to take it with a grain of salt. And that's exactly Because right. it's from the director of some Holly Christmas movies. So. And a show called Date My Dad. So. Let's dive into this for the official Netflix trailer for Dangerous Lies. So here we go. And open. Oh, I'll say that. Leonard. It's time to take your medication. Old bros. <laughs> How long did you work for Mr. Wellesley? About four and a half months. And you oh, worked shit. here too, Mr. Kettner? Oh, so much like there. Not from. Dummy. Not from House. Made it this far, right? Apologies, Miss Franklin. I'm Mr. Wellesley's attorney. He left everything to you. Folks going somewhere? We're moving into Leonard's house. Well, you're a very lucky woman. Um. It's a lot of one dollar bills. <laughs> Hi, sorry to bother you. My name is Mickey. Real estate agent. Are you the owner? This house is. Oh my sale. God! This guy's grown up so much. <laughs> She's not even close to what we thought. We don't need any of this. This house belongs to us now. I'm not gonna let anybody take that away from us. I'm calling the police? No. These things never know how it can change someone. I would never hurt Leonard. I know none of this is true. So it's not even close to what we thought. Uh, sorry. Uh, correction. Okay, before you say correction, my part. Sasha said not from House, but from she played Kate in NCIS and she was in Rosalia. Yeah, I know. That's my bad. That's so we're not even close to what we thought it was. So it, it follows has the basic premise. As a the basic, basic premise, premise of the whole like the she's he's giving leaving everything to his caretaker. That the only difference is this time is that they move into the house, and but then they find things and certain strangers start to show up. You know, you know. That's the one thing I'm confused by. It's like, okay, you have the detective, and then just the one creepy realtor guy. Is that 
Is, is it really just one really creepy realtor guy? Is it Jamie Chung's character? It's like, these are the only two suspects. It's, I can the, type think of thing, of. it's the type of thing where it's like, who can you trust? That's the, I think that's what this comes down to. Is like, who can you trust, you know, when, when, you know, they're giving you all this? No, we can't call the police. Well, why can't we call the police? As far especially as... You got, especially you got a detective, but the question is, again, they're making it seem like you can't even tr- trust a detective. That's what it sounds like. It, you know? I mean, I gotta admit, there is a... <laughs> there is a bit of mystery to it as well, where it's like, you really are curious, like, like, what the guy was behind. Like, in Knives Out, you know, he was a acclaimed uh, mystery writer. You know, what was Ellie he, Gold's what character was, Yeah, about? What, what was he about? Was he, an, well, was he a writer? Was he an entrepreneur? Was he, I don't know, architect or something like that? That's, uh, that's the question. You know, it, sound, it looks like maybe somehow, maybe he was a thief back in the day. And now somebody's coming back because they want their money. That you know, that could be it. You know, that's the best. They, yes, they were, they were waiting until he died so they can go get his money. Though that is ironic. Didn't Elliot Gold star in the oceans? Films? <laughs> Didn't he star in the oceans? in the oceans films? Yeah. So, oh my god, it's catching up with him. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It it seems it seems interesting. If it gets a, if it gets more buzz, then maybe I'll watch it. Or I'll it definitely it. feels like the kind of film. If it wasn't coming to Netflix, it would probably be. No offense, but it probably come into Lifetime. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of feeling I got from it. It, it kind of feels like it would be coming from Lifetime. That's why I said it, 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 it seems good. I mean, for those who like these type of mysteries, these ones and things like that, um, I know for us it will probably be a pass, but if it does start getting some type of buzz where people start saying some good things about it. I know like for that, you, if your wife sees this trailer, she's going to want to watch it. Probably. I, I, you know, I'm... I, you know, it's like, it doesn't hurt. And you hear it now, why is it called the cops? Why is it called the cops? Why is it called the cops? And I'm like, and you go, I don't know why. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Please. These guys are morons. We clarified that already. These guys yeah. are fucking morons. Exactly. But yeah, this looks fine. This yeah. looks all right. It's like very bite a book. Ooh, Lifetime original series kind of mystery. Mm. You know, um, but I have a decent cast attached. I'll give it that. Yeah, it does. And the one who directed a bunch of Christmas movies. Yes, and that one where it says Date My Dad. Yeah, I think it was a movie. I don't know. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about Netflix original movies, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this trailer overall. Um, again, we apologize. We thought it was like going like how Knives Out was just because of the, what we read in the descriptions and things like that. But what are your guys' overall take on this? Is it something you want to watch and take a look at? Um, is that a pass for you like it is with us? Does it feel like too lifetime ish type of uh, way uh, or hallmark y type, uh, type of film uh, that, that you would get? Or is it something you definitely want to check it out just to see and it feels like it's a legit, like good, decent film? Let us know in the comments down below. Put out your thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very not so knives out filled episode of SRE. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bro.